So today we're going to make a, a do-it-yourself slide scanner. Uh, I'm going to start with a slide projector, and I need to make a few modifications to it. So one thing I need to do is remove the limbs, so we can kind of screw that. And then the other thing we're going to do is change the uh, the uh, light source, because we don't need a 300 watt bulb for this project. So, we're just going to remove this. And getting rid of this is a little trickier. It's just in there real tight. A, um, it's an MR11 size bulb. The bulb that normally comes in it is an MR13, which you can see is quite a bit bigger. But the MR16 is the basically it's either MR11s or MR16s that you can buy. This is 35 watts. That MR13 is 300 watts. So then I just got a little pigtail that I plug into it for a socket. So this fits in just nicely. And then I just use some paper clip to. Uh, Hold it in place. Probably doesn't need it, but there we go. okay. So you can see that the uh, light is installed. And now, one thing that's going to happen though is this with this lens, it's going to magnify that light. It's going to be really um, harsh for backlighting a slide. So, put this little piece of mylar. I already put some scotch tape on it. You want to line it up so it misses this rail, otherwise, you'll wreck your lens, your filter. Alright, so this is going to give us backlighting. And this is just a little transformer that you use for under counter lights, etc. I need to get some pins to do this properly, but for right now, I'll just stick the wires in. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now we will put this back in. thing we do is set the camera up. What I've got is a macro 100 millimeter lens that gives you about you know minimum focus distance of um, 12 inches. From from here to here is approximately 13, so you've got a bit of room to play. Um, it's when you're trying to line up the slide, instead of moving the camera, it's easier to move the slide projector. So you can get in here, focus, make some adjustments. There's the little turning the thumb screw that raises and lowers the projector, and then if you need to do some side to side, you can do that. And then, typically, you should probably use a manual setting and pick a sweet spot on your lens, like maybe it's f8 or f11 somewhere in there, and then you can take your picture. And then you can manually advance. And so on. So the thing that uh, you need to do is to set your white balance because that halogen bulb is quite yellow. So you need to set your uh, custom white balance on your camera. And uh, what I've done now is instead of advancing the slides manually and manually pressing the button, I've uh, hooked the camera up with USB to uh, it's called Digicam Control. It's freeware. You can download it and run it on Windows. I don't think it's available for Mac. And then what I've done is I've got a Raspberry Pi, um, which is hooked up to a relay controller, and that relay controller hooks up to the uh, Instead of the typical you know, forward reverse uh, remote, I've just hardwired it in uh, to advance the slide. So then I've written uh, some software which will fire the advance of the projector, take a picture, and then continue until you've gone through the number of slides. In this case, there's only four slides in this carousel, so it won't be very long.
here's one of the images I captured. I will zoom in on this area here. You'll notice the detail, and you can read the writing on those boxes where it says pressure sensor. And that's, uh, considering such a small slide, and it gives you that much detail, it's quite a testament to that lens. It's pretty amazing. That's it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much.